Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. David here. Thanks for coming back for another video or welcome if it's your first one. Uh, how are you doing? Uh, are you doing fine? I'm, I'm doing okay. I've had a nice long sleep. I'm so tired. <laughs> um, I took a trip uh, recently and that's what today's video is, is going to be about. Um, I had a six hour bus ride to get back to Osaka so I'm pretty exhausted. I did sleep most of it off and I've just had a nice shower so maybe I'm on the, on the right road. But instead of resting, here I am taking more videos for you. So please be grateful. <laughs> uh, Happy New Year if this is the first one you've seen this year. Um, I had a very happy new year on this channel because the last video I made, uh, put the thumbnail there, the 50 best places to go to in Osaka prefecture, that really blew up. I was really astonished and happy and uh, really thankful uh, to everyone who watched that. Um, just a bit of context, I get stats on YouTube and it tells me how many uh, views I get compared to other videos in the same amount of time. Um, and to be honest, in, in the first week, it's rare for me to get more than 100 views in a video. Um, probably maybe 10% of the videos will make it to 100 in the first week. This one made it to 250 in the first week, which I've never got even close to that before. That's like double the previous record, I think. So, and for it to be the, the big video that I've been leading up to, that really meant a lot. And I was very happy about that. So thank you for your support and uh, share it with all your Osaka loving friends or people who don't know about Osaka yet, you can you can uh, introduce them with, with that video. So thank you so much. Uh, well, today, um, I'm actually not in Kansai. Well, I'm, I'm in Kansai right now, but today's trip went to uh, Shikoku Island. Shikoku Island is the big island just to the west of Osaka. Um, you can get there by ferry fairly easily. Um, I it, Well, I was going to Ehime Prefecture, which is on the western side of it, so kind of the other, other side. Uh, a bit of a trek from Osaka and there aren't really easy train connections either from Osaka. Um, you can go around and get to around Okayama or Onomichi and take the train down from there. Um, but yeah, it's a bit of a trek. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to take you around Ehime and Matsuyama City, especially uh, home to Dogo Onsen, which is one of the famous uh, onsens from Japanese history. Um, I'm going to show you what else. We've got castles, um, we've got Ghibli stuff, we've got um, a lovely guest house I want to recommend to everybody. Um, so if you're into all that and you want to see more um, kind of tours, then uh, please like this video, please subscribe to the channel, um, please comment as well what, what was interesting in this video, where do you want to go, um, and where do you want me to go next as well if the budget supports it. And also share this channel, that would be really helpful for me. If you know any uh, influential friends, then uh, definitely share to them too. Um, I, I said this before, but um, last year I was working very hard on this channel and taking a lot of my time. So I wanted to kind of take it easy this year, but already uh, <laughs> I've got to edit about 190 videos together to make, make it into a nice uh, cohesive thing. I'm going to do that later after I have a bit of a walk. But anyway, enough jibber jabber from me as always. Uh, I'm gonna switch back to the like a montage and I'm gonna be narrating. Uh, so I'll see you on the other side. Okay, enjoy. Right, let's start our trip at Akashi Kaikyo Ohashi Bridge. This connects Akashi City in Hyogo Prefecture with Awajishima. Uh, also in Hyogo Prefecture, this is a big island opposite Osaka in Osaka Bay. The sun was setting, we had quite a long drive. We still had to get off Awajishima first. Uh, so, Awajishima is connected to Shikoku by the Onaruto Bridge, um, which connects to Tokushima Prefecture. If you're lucky, you might be able to see some of the uh, Naruto whirlpools. Um, I couldn't really see them today, but there's a visitor centre on the Naruto side of the bridge. You can even take a boat out there. I also wanted to introduce the Japanese service areas, um, much nicer than the British service stations. Um, you can get some nice reasonable food, get some udon, some fried food. Uh, buy some souvenirs too. There's a huge array of vending machines, all normally priced as well, not marked up horribly. You can buy hot drinks too, you can buy soup, so you can energize yourself for the long drive. Uh, you can even buy some Saniki Udon, which is a specialty of Kagawa Prefecture. They like to sell kind of local, local goods here. So here we go, on the road again. We've got quite a long drive to Ehime Prefecture on the west side of Shikoku but you can enjoy the scenery, or at least until it gets dark. Um, so let's keep going. Uh, on the way, uh, close to Matsuyama City, there's Soda Tomori Sky and Forest Hot Spring. Um, nice, reasonable hot spring, very relaxing. Obviously, I can't take a lot of 
film inside there because people are naked. <laughs> but uh, definitely check that out if you've had a long drive, very relaxing. And here was the place I was staying for a couple of nights. This is Popeye Guest House, a nice renovated old style house with a nice kind of Showa style uh, living room with a kotatsu to warm up on. And uh, a nice relaxing bedroom too with these beautiful um, sliding doors. Very relaxing, could sleep well that night. Um, this also operates as a restaurant, so please check out Popeye for um, just restaurant if you're just in the area. A nice sea view from there too. So check out Popeye above the grocery shop in, uh, what was it, Futami City, I think it's called. Um, and right next to Iyo Kaminara Station, which is a, a local JR station. But um, we had one more stop before we left this area. We're just having to drive one station to the south to Shimonada Station. Might be wondering why we we're visiting a, a different rail station. It might be look a bit strange, but this great uh, kind of platform shelter is famous. It kind of rem reminds people of um, Spirited Away when uh, Chihiro was wait waiting for her train. So you can take your uh, Instagram pictures there and you can catch the one-man train. I'm going to talk about the local trains a little bit later. But uh, as you can see, a little, little small one. But you can get some nice views of the sea uh, from here as well on the way to Matsuyama City. It takes about 45 minutes to get to JR Matsuyama Station. There's not that much to do around the actual JR Station, uh, but you can catch a tram. They seem quite nicely renovated as well. They're not like an old rickety tram like we have in Osaka. <laughs> uh, but you can catch the trams. They, they take you all over uh, Matsuyama City. But I decided I need some lunch, so I went to Taimeshi Maki, which is a restaurant that serves uh, Taimeshi, a uh, Matsuyama favourite, which is raw sea bream, or red snapper, served with uh, soy sauce and on hot rice. And you can even put an egg yolk on top of there. I'm oh, sorry, my camera doesn't focus very well. Don't worry, the eggs are safe. That's right in front of Matsuyama Shi Station, which is um, part of the Iotetsu tram network. And you can even try the Ferris wheel on top. But I thought I'd take a nice walk to Shiroyama Park. Uh, you can see on top of the hill there, there is uh, Matsuyama Castle. Um, I'm not going to walk up there though. I'm going to take it the long way around. Walk past Ehime Prefectural Office, which is right next to the park. Very interesting design. And onto the ropeway terminal. Um, there is a kind of cable car, a ropeway thing, and a um, little art gallery too. So you can see some nice art of uh, Matsuyama City. That would be a good thumbnail, I think. And unusually, but there's actually a chairlift we can take up to the top of the castle hill. Um, so, of course, I didn't want to pass up an opportunity like that. I don't really see a lot of chairlifts in Japan. I saw one in Amano Hashidate before. Uh, but there is a cable car available if you want to wait for that. So if you're afraid of heights, don't worry. It's all very safe anyway, don't worry. So on to the main event, Matsuyama Castle. Um, this is not a totally original castle. It's been kind of rebuilt a little bit. But it's mostly intact from the 1600s when it was built. And you get some nice views from the top of um, Matsuyama City. A bit dazzling on this day. And some more views of a different part of uh, Matsuyama City. I'm not sure what that is. And of course you can have these nice panoramas. You can see Matsuyama Castle as well. I'm not sure. If you can... Is that the actual castle building? I'm not sure. Well, there it is. Okay, this is the main, the main keep. Uh, only costs about 500 yen to get inside, so very reasonable. And uh, you can enjoy the wonders of Japanese architecture from here. Um, not too crowded either, but a nice place to visit. There's some fairly punishing um, stairways though, so if your knees aren't very good, then be careful. Um, but there is quite an extensive um, museum as well. So you can see some old suits of armour. You can see p portraits of the former owners, find out about the history. I love these kind of pre-installed moustaches on the on the armor. You can see some Japanese swords and spears, and just read up all about the history of the castle. You can even try on some of the armor if you're interested in that. Uh, give that a try. And next to this ceremonial bow and arrow, I don't know how practical they are, but right at the top you can get some lovely panoramic views of um, Atsuyama City. So you can see the park down there I was at before. You can see yeah. The rest of the castle area surrounded by Matsuyama City, very beautiful. So definitely go to Matsuyama Castle if the weather's nice. Um, yep, it's going to test your knees though, <laughs> so make sure you're at full power. Yeah, I decided to take the chairlift down because there were some nice views. You can see the city and the 
the mountains behind. Then took the tram again to Dogon Sin Station. Uh, Dogon Sin's very famous spots uh, in Matsuyama. This is the Bochan train, which apparently runs as well, but I haven't seen it actually running. There's a big Starbucks in front of the in the station as well. So nice old-fashioned building, but um, yeah, Starbucks inside. Weirdly quiet in this this particular day, so I don't know what's going on. We've got a nice view of the plaza there, including that Bochan Karakuri clock. Karakuri just means it's a mechanical clock. So you, uh, I think every half an hour it um, does this special performance. You can see the people bathing at the bottom. You can see other scenes of Bochan's story. Bochan's a kind of famous folk tale from the area. And enjoy Dogon's in a uh, shopping arcade. You can see the rickshaws there as well. You can tell if it's a touristy place. Yeah, nice shopping arcade. You can buy all kinds of souvenirs from there. Buy your Mikan stuff. All kinds of souvenirs. And Dogon Sen, this is the main building. Um, under quite extensive renovation at the moment, but this is reminiscent of uh, Spirited Away again. Apparently it's the inspiration for some of the scenes in the bathhouse in that movie. Um, the renovations will be completed in maybe July 2024, so I couldn't really go to a lot of it. Um, but if you don't want to wait for so long to visit the hot springs there, you can go to Askanu no Yu. It's kind of an annex of the Dogon Sin building. Or Tsubaki no Yu, uh, right next door. Another quite quite small hot spring, but very nice. So that was enough for one day. I was going to return to Matsuyama Station. I'm not sure where this guy is. Hari, Hari Sang. And uh, I don't know what Ampaman's doing there. I guess he might be famous in the area. And taking my local train back to Iyo um, Kaminada Station. So I definitely don't want to miss my train that time of the night. There it goes off into the night. These local trains uh, might look a bit scary for tourists, but uh, they're very easy to use. You just pick up a pick up a ticket from the like ticket machine and pay for it at the station. Um, so this is Futami City. This is where Popeye was. This is I went back there to sleep, obviously, got some nice sea views, nice cute little town. Even the station uh, is very, very cute. It's very decorated by little local people. Lots of nice photos. But I was waiting for my train again back to Matsuyama City. Now don't worry, these local trains are very safe. Um, they, the only danger is really missing your train because um, they, they don't come very often. Maybe every couple of hours. So don't miss your train. So just take a ticket from the uh, the entrance when uh, when you get on the train, and pay for it in the station. It's easy. Uh, back on the trams in Matsuyama City, they're obsessed with Mikan here, so obviously decorated like that. You can even write your own haiku as well, put it in the haiku post box, uh, capital of haikus. Um, I went back to Askano Yu just to take a bath there. I was waiting for the dog on same one, but it was like a two hour wait. So while I was waiting for that, my time ticket, I thought I'd go to Askano Yu. Another beautiful uh, hot spring. This is quite new, I think it's only about six years old, but very nicely decorated inside. So you can pay a little bit extra and wait inside this um, this kind of Japanese tatami room. This is an extra and you get a tea and a suite as well. As well as having a nice balcony view. Although I think it's a bit too colourful on the on the ground there. Not that traditional. Um, okay, after all that, I did go to Dogon Sin. It was very nice to relax, but I had a bit of free time, a little bit of free time. So I went to Ehime Prefectural Museum of Art where they were having a Studio Ghibli uh, exhibition. It's probably almost finished by the time you're watching this, but you can enjoy some of the um, Studio Ghibli uh, stuff. <laughs> you can see Kaonashi, you can see those... There's a lot of Spirited Away stuff, because um, I guess that's connected to Matsuyama City. That was a nice uh, nice tie-up, I think, to round off my trip. You can even see Yubaba there and get one of your uh, special Omikuji fortunes. That's it, that was my time in Matsuyama. So there's the bathhouse that is inspired by uh, Dogon Sen. So definitely check it out, even though there's a six hour drive to get back to Osaka. Hi, welcome back. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. I uh, hope you enjoyed that video about Ehime and uh, Matsuyama City. Uh, I hope that gives you some ideas of places to go. Um, definitely check out Dogon Sen, it's a nice kind of historical, there's a lot of you know, hot springs around there, so I recommend those. Uh, check out the Mikang, the little satsumas. So popular and juicy. Uh, of course, check out Popeye, the uh, guest house I introduced just south of Matsuyama City. Um, like I was saying, so the bus ride is about six hours uh, either way from Osaka to Matsuyama. 
Um, you can also get there by train, but it's a little bit tricky. Um, just check out the routes. Um, there's a ferry as well if you really want to do it overnight. Um, especially if you want to drive around Ekmir, you might want to get rent a car and do the car ferry thing. Um, but yeah, definitely go there. That, this might be the last um, big tour for a little while because I need to try and save some money. But uh, I'm thinking about it for this year. Um, I promised myself I was going to take it easy in 2014, uh, 20, 2014, 2024. Um, but so far, <laughs> I'm exhausted already. I haven't even started work yet. Uh, but I'll, I'll take some local trips around Kansai. I'll show you the exciting other places in Kansai. Am I going to do like 50 best places in Kyoto or Nara or something like that? I'm not sure. But Anyway, stay tuned. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel. That will help me so much. Leave a comment. Uh, what was interesting for you? Um, where do you want me to go next, if I can? And also share this channel. I really appreciate that. Share it to all your, all your friends, uh, all your influential <laughs> friends as well. And uh, I'll see you next time. Okay, so take care. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.